as me. Hello again. Some jazz musicians have only to make a couple of records or sit in on a few jam sessions to be hailed as new discoveries. Well, with our star guest on Jazz 625 tonight, exactly the opposite happened. For many years, he was virtually unknown to the wide jazz public. And then, five years ago, came not only recognition, but also acceptance as one of the masters of his instrument, the jazz guitar. The name is Wes Montgomery. Yeah. With him, making up the members of his quartet are on piano, someone who uh, was quite recently in Miles Davis's band, and before that was Lionel Hampton, Harold Mayburn. <laughs> on bass, a young man who's made several albums with J.J. Johnson quite recently, Arthur Harper. And on drums, a new name in, to, to British jazz fans, someone who comes from the West Coast of America and who will be known to jazz fans in the future, I'm quite sure, Jimmy Lovelace. <laughs> well, that's the West Montgomery Quartet, and now their first number, Jerome Kern's Yesterdays. <laughs>
That was a West Montgomery original called Jingles. Wes is a, is a self-taught musician, but if you think that a self-taught musician is in any way a faulty or incomplete musician, take the opportunity of looking in close up at the fantastic thumb technique which he's evolved. This is, uh, so far as I know, a, a unique technique, and it's one which makes even classically trained guitarists boggle, and they don't boggle too easily. Uh, over to the quartet now for, uh, for a, a classic of modern jazz, Thelonious Monk's Round Midnight.
West Montgomery composition, Twisted Blues, featuring Arthur Harper on the bass, Harold Maven on piano. Like the Dodds family of New Orleans or the Adderley family of Florida, the Montgomery family of Indianapolis will no doubt go down in history as one of the great jazz families. Uh, Wes has two brothers, Monk and Buddy Montgomery, who are probably best known to jazz fans here through their quartet, The Master Sounds, which they founded. He also has, uh, I believe, seven children. Is that right, Wes? Yes. Seven. And somebody who's no friend of his has also told me, <laughs> has also told me that he's a grandfather. Is that right, too? Uh, what's that again? A grandfather. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's also a grandfather, but uh, before you start thinking of him as the last of the Mississippi guitar players, he's only 42. <laughs> anyway, that uh, information about his family probably explains the next title, which is called Full House. <laughs> <laughs>
And that unfortunately brings us almost to the end of this program of music from the West Montgomery Quartet. Some of the greatest guitar jazz to be heard now or at any time. As they sign off now with West Coast Blues, it's goodbye from them and from me here on Jazz 625. Goodbye now. <laughs> Thank you.